Audi Quattro, I would guess that, in that left-hand lane. Well, welcome to another edition of uh, Paul Alden Details channel. Yeah, this isn't what your uh, average channel is all about. Well, normally we're doing uh, testing car products, detailing products, which is where the love is, but the real deep love is cars. Behind me, that is Mark II Stu in his Mark II Escort. That's the Harrier you see behind me. This is North Wheeled Airstrip. Uh, I'll pan the camera around. As you can see, many, many cars, all waiting to do the blast down the runway. We will get as much of this action up on the channel as we can today. First time I've been, uh, I'm with a very good friend of mine, Richard, and a couple of his little uh, followers, should we say. I'll leave it at that. I'm not going to mention their names in the video. Uh, so, yeah, we will catch you later with loads of burnouts and 0 to 60 action. Catch you later. They get their first 10.07 at uh, 76 miles an hour. 10 point all fee at 126. And a very nicely turned out Mark 1 Escort, courtesy of Taz Racing, also in the right hand lane. Oh, he's, oh, he's all over the place at the whip fee at 126. My goodness me. For years, uh, 12.83 for the maximum for seven miles an hour. 12.39 in the right hand lane. Pre, of course, was the uh, British answer to the uh, American Mustang, known as the British Pony Car. But uh, certainly, Mark Five Cortina. <laughs> So just walking around the car park and uh, seeing this, this Dodge Cornet. Never seen a convertible one of these before. This one's for sale. Uh, 19 grand. So 19 grand, you can have some American muscle. So I managed to get some shots of the cars uh, while we were walking around. Um, there's some amazing machinery here. I'll get a few more shots and we'll get some more of the racing. So 9.92 terminal speed better for the Escal 87 miles an hour 69 for the Audi TT mm. 
Oh, my God.